Dungeons and Dragons and Daughters. All right, welcome everyone to another amazing adventure. Well, I don't know, I'm sure if we're going to get to an adventure tonight. We'll see what happens. Yeah. An amazing episode of Dungeons and Dragons and Daughters. We are a fifth edition actual play D and D podcast. I am Kurt, Daddy the Dungeon Master, and before we go to my left for introductions, welcome everyone to Campaign Two. Woo! Yes. We've got some new faces around the table. We actually had to extend out the table to make room for them. It looks really bad. So like, we should get a new table. It's hey, back <laughs> off. All right. Mm. Maybe to my you left, have we have Sam, who doesn't play anyone quite yet, but that's what soon. this is going to be. Episode zero. We're yeah, make our new characters for Ooh. campaign two. Sam, hi. And to my left, we have... Birdie. I play no one right now. And to my left, we have... Trent. I also play no one, but I play it very well. <laughs> and to my left, we have... Sammy. I've never played in my life before, and I have no one to play. <laughs> and a, then, yeah. <laughs> you've got a noob at the table. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, and so, another Sammy. Yeah. So, well, so, some of yeah, you might recognize Trent. Trent had guest starred in Campaign One a number of times previously, playing playing Dave, which uh, was later taken over by, uh, by Mom, the, by Mom, my wife Jill, who played Fat Deb, the the fan favorite halfling cleric. Mm-hmm. So, Campaign Two. Yeah. Sammy, well, actually, Sammy, what do you know about D and D? They're players, and you roll dice. That's right. That's exactly right. That is basically that is, it. That is what we are going to do. But you're interested, and you so. go, yeah, and you go on like adventures. And we do. Stuff. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. So campaign one, which we've been playing for six years. Way too long. Yeah, we're not doing that again. Were you getting bored? No, it's just it was way too long. Time to move on. Time to move on. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I played a character I created when I was seven. Yes. For six years. Yes. So, yeah, you're a little older, a little wiser, maybe. A little more mature. Yeah. Let's, see, let's, let's see what Debatable. kind of character you can create today. But I our campaign ideas. one, we played for six years, and it was a world, uh, an adventure, and a campaign that, that I created all from in my dome and noggin brain head. This campaign, I'm going to be using a pre-written adventure called The Wild Beyond the Witchlight. So part of D&D, the, there's the core rule books that get into the Player's Handbook, the Dungeon Master's Guide, and the Monster's Manual. They've got these three core books. As long as you have like those books, you can create whatever adventures and campaigns that you want. And so that's what I did. I had those books, and I created Campaign 1, in which we played through for six years. But it's a lot of work to do all that stuff. There's uh, lots of things that you have to make up and, and, and be creative with. Not that I don't enjoy those sorts of things, but uh, Wizards of the Coast, the company behind Dungeons & Dragons, they make these pre-written adventures. And this was an adventure book that I picked up a couple years ago that really caught my interest, uh, and I wanted to try it out when we finished up campaign one for the podcast just didn't realize it would take this long for us to get around to yeah, it we've been busy yeah, we've had a lot going on mm-hmm. a lot going on so uh i do have to say we are not in any way sponsored by wizards of the coast or dungeons and dragons or wild beyond the witch lights but we in, wish in any way uh, it's we, i actually had some comments on social media like people were like we know that you're only saying these things or endorsing these things because you're getting paid. And I was like, no, we're not getting paid by anyone to, to do this. We do this because we, we find it fun. But we'd happily be paid. <laughs> <laughs> we're actively looking for endorsements. Wink, wink. <laughs> Ding. <laughs> <laughs> so I have never actually played... I. I have played these adventure books before. I've always taken just like portions of them for other for our other campaigns or other tables this one i want to try and play straight from beginning to end i've never done that before we're gonna see how it goes it's if it turns out to be like a dumpster fire right out of the gates then yeah we'll 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 switch some things up but that's that's my intent that we were going to start out level one characters and i think this adventure goes up to like level eight or nine 
I'm not quite sure how far it goes up to, but it's around that. So I want to play from the very beginning of this adventure book, levels one through nine or eight, whatever it is. And I know, Sammy, that means nothing to you. Yeah, I don't know what that means. Okay. <laughs> so. I don't even really know either. Really? Not gonna lie. No, I'm joking. Really? <laughs> <laughs> oh my so gosh. this is our uh, episode zero. Or not episode, it's adventure zero or what's like what was the term session zero? session zero thank you the word was escaping me there session zero we are getting together as a group to create our characters and these are the characters that we're going to take into the campaign the wild beyond the witch light it is a fey based adventure so meaning that the group will eventually go into the fey wild uh I like to think of it, it's kind of like uh, The Wizard of Oz. It's like you are all going to be Dorothy going into The Wizard of Oz. But it's, not, it's, it's quite a bit different than that. Wait, so we're not going to all sing somewhere with the rainbow at you, the same time? You can if you want. Three, two, wait, 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 wait. Wait. <laughs> wait, do we have to pay copyright for that? Is that in the public domain? Is that Aren't you allowed to use like 15 seconds before that becomes an issue? Is it? Or what if we just th- change the melody in words? So then yeah. that's a different song. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> derivative work. Like, yeah. Elsewhere <laughs> under the river bound. <laughs> that's um, the same melody. Oh. We could rap it. We could. <laughs> we could rap it. Yeah. yeah, we could do that. All right. So no. Okay. <laughs> level one is your character at the very beginning, and as we go through the adventures. Eventually, you start going up in levels, you get more abilities, and you start being able to do more things with your character. But generally, the limit of what you can do with your character is the limits of your imagination as well. <laughs> so, level one. What are we going to make for characters? Does anyone does anyone have an idea of what they want to do? Sam has like her full idea. Yeah. Done. Really she, backstory and stuff. All well, every backstory, but I have a basically. Because because you, you don't have to make them like completely in a vacuum from each other. You could even say that your characters have like a long history with each other as well. Because part of this campaign as well is that you do know each other as children for a brief period of time, and you are going to meet back up as adventurers not maybe not quite adults up to you you get to choose how old your character is going to be can i be a toddler still you can can be a toddler (laughs) like a like a halfling or like no i'll be like i'll be like the boss baby the (laughs) boss baby (laughs) yeah you know whatever his name is no just his name is boss baby i think (laughs) really that's his actual name i don't know (laughs) that that does bring up an interesting question could you potentially have a toddler and cast awaken on that toddler to give them a 10 intelligence (laughs) mr (laughs) bok (laughs) bok but so it's like i I think it's more that the toddlers don't have <laughs> aren't able to speak any languages, so you'd have to come up with a different way of communicating. You could do a language with, with like farts and giggles. Speak any languages either. I know, but if you look at uh, like the smart toddlers in media, like Stewie from The Family Guy or yeah. Boss Baby, or he could you know, talk. Or the the, the, uh, the E Trade Baby, another popular one. Who? There, there was a baby that, that, yeah. yeah, you're that old. <laughs> you're really so, but old. the awakened spell actually, you can cast that on inanimate objects, and it just oh. magically allows them to start speaking. And so chickens. It sh- should allow you to do that. I could have that a toddler. pet rock. You could have a pet rock. Oh my god! And if it had the awakened spell cast on it, yes, it would actually be able to talk. Oh my god! And move around. Wait, could it like the rock grow little legs and little? I would probably rule no. Would they the, roll? The rock would just roll everywhere. <laughs> oh, that's even better. They'd be like Forky, who just has the googly eyes and everything just like that. Yes. Because now I want a pet rock. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so. We should all have a pet rock. You'll have to learn yeah. the awakened pet spell rock. first. Um, <laughs> I'll write it in my inventory. Yeah. 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 Good idea, good idea. <laughs> He'll never notice. Yes. Uh. So, Sammy, you'll notice in front of you is a blank character sheet. This is, as we create our characters, this is where we write down the details on the characters that that we create this is where you would write down their name their level their class their race this is also where you would write down uh, their physical attributes and those are used to determine how good your character is at certain things and we use those numbers to add on to dice rolls and that determines how well you do things that's essentially it so who wants to start Sam, you want to start? Uh, oh, okay. Can I volunteer her, her as tribute? <laughs> <laughs> I 
I still need time to think. Have you thought about like <laughs> history and all that? Or is like, well, is, do you want to be connected to any other characters? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> I have an idea. Okay, let's I hear have it. a whole... Okay, so... <laughs> well, actually, maybe, so so we don't get monopolized just on your character right away. Yeah. Maybe we should go around and start with... Um, do you have a name? Yes. Okay, <laughs> what, is, what is your character's name? Ahem. Lirp Syrup of the House of Pancakes. <laughs> Lirp Syrup of the House of Pancakes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Sam and told me about this such a long time ago, and it was the greatest moment of my life. And what, 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 is, what is the race that you have picked out for Lirp Syrup of the House of Pancakes? Lirp Syrup of the House of Pancakes. Well, or should I say it, Princess Lirp Syrup of the House of Pancakes. She's royalty. Of course. It's the House of Pancakes. Come on. Uh, she Is it International House of Pancakes? <laughs> no. Just a local House of Pancakes then. Yeah. No, it's uh, small is business. So a minor noble house. It's so no, really no, not no. that important. The, the, she is from the Fey Realm. So like Fairy. there's different houses. There's the House of Pancakes. Interdimensional the House, house of F- Pancakes. Yeah. Ooh. OP. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, uh, her. <laughs> she is a. Her race is a fairy. Oh, yeah. Fairy, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I that's could that's actually one of the races that were introduced into this adventure. Isn't that why she picked it? No, I just oh. wanted to be a fairy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They so, kind of so, why. So fairies are uh, small. They're a diminutive race. Oh. And they can fly. They have wings. Yes. So there are some roles that we are going to need you to do because um, there are some fate attributes that you get mm-hmm. for for choosing a fairy, but we'll get to that in a second. Yes, Bert. Can she lose her ability to fly if her wings get cut off? Sure. I, think sh- <laughs> I think we should do that. Yeah, that's that's no, that would be a good idea. idea. It would be a tragic backstory, yeah. ladies. Can, <laughs> tra- let's calm down. Okay. Can we, can we get a couple adventures under our belt before we take a hard left turn into some dark territory, please? <sighs> yeah, Fine. I guess. Uh huh. Yeah, and okay, it's not, okay, it's not okay. It's not set in stone that she's a princess. It's just you know I'm playing with the idea. Okay. Mm-hmm. Does Can Lyrup just think she's a princess, or is she actually a princess? That's see, that's where I'm like, I, I'm not. I'm trying to dive into Lyrup, you know. Wait, would she be like Poppy from Trolls, like <gasps> you know, who's like kind of a princess oh. and like is chaotic energy? Yeah. Well, wait, should I say the class or should I wait? Let's get to that in a second. Okay. So yes. Okay. I'm writing what my character got? name. Right. So, well, that was loud. Uh, the name I'm, I don't really have a specific race, but I have something I'm kind of want in mind. Sure. Yeah. Someone who's um like seems fine. Okay. Well, this is just their character arc right now. Um, seems fine on the outside, but is completely dark and emo in the inside. Mm. <laughs> don't mind my emo oh. use. Well, like you know, secret identity. They're all like happy. It's almost like me. I'm all happy and sunshine, but when they're alone, they're like, "Oh, I'm going to kill someone." Oh. Okay. <laughs> Wait, by chopping off Sam's wings. What? <laughs> I can embrace my evil energy. <laughs> I'm um, just so, well, the complete opposite right now. Okay. So, so the race that you choose wouldn't yes. dictate that. I know. You could do that personality. I know. Yeah. So I don't know about race yet, but that's kind of the personality, and I'm having their name as like. I'm thinking Willow Carter, but since I'm want, wanting them to have like a secret identity, wanting it to be like their WC. Wait, are you like, are you making Batman? Is that what's yeah. happening? No, okay, no, but, no, 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 no. <laughs> this has been my my dream for two years now, and I've had I've had it all pl- somewhat planned out, as you can tell. <laughs> but uh, their like evilness, their name is Wild Card, WC. Okay. I see. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. Yes, and then I will end it there. Mm-hmm. Right. So, is your character going to be going by WC? No, um, they're that's their other. That's their alter ego. That's their alter ego. Okay, so that's mm-hmm. what they do at night. At night, or in their bedroom when they're alone and away from the world. And <laughs> writing my diary, I hate, I hate the world. Oh my gosh. Okay. Just, you know, teenage. I don't know something like that. Okay. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Sure. No, I'm, yeah, I don't I'm know enjoyed. what your teenage experience is, well, but well, it's not mine. Yeah, we'll, we'll see how that comes out. Maybe, I'm uh, maybe, maybe we'll encounter you know some therapy sessions in the game. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Trent. <laughs> <laughs>
Okay, we're just doing race race at first. It's just a name okay. and name. race, yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't have a name. I always find names particularly hard, but I don't know that I, I can. I love names. Right. I, <laughs> I don't know that I can go after Lyrup Syrup anyway, but. Um, Sam can name you. I, don't I was considering either Dragonborn or Tortle. Ooh. Ooh. Tortle. Okay. Tortle. Uh, I, I, I think kinda, Dragonborn would also be really cool. Through this whole process of our Session Zero character creation thing, I would like to get input from the table. I kind of want to be uh, a blank slate so that you guys can sort of... It's not a Dave moment. No, you don't want to... <laughs> don't no. open it up. If you open it up to the table, you'll be drunk and dumb. I'm going to keep I'm gonna keep veto <laughs> oh, no. power, okay. but I would like to definitely get yeah, input cause we'll, from... Yeah, we'll do you dirty if it's like up to Like, maybe I'll make it multiple choice. Yeah, I'm not... <laughs> I'm more know. familiar with Dragonborn than Turtles and like Dragon... I don't know anything about Turtles either. Mm-hmm. I think that'd be fun, though. Yeah, both I think would be cool. I just kind of really like... The Wait, is it gonna be like a surfer <laughs> dude? Nemo. No, 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 no. Teenage Mutant yeah. Ninja Tur- Turtles. He just wants to hit the waves, man. Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Tubular. Yeah. Pretty he gnarly. wants to grow in his hair. Oh my mm. god. That you have to have like a man bun. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't think turtles have hair. They he could have a wig though. Yeah, he, he's a wig. Okay. It'll cover okay. your bald spot. <laughs> <laughs> We firmly established. I think, though, if he has a wig, it'll be a powdered wig. Like, really blonde one? No, no, no. no. Powdered wig, like uh, George Washington. Oh. <laughs> okay, so not sur- Surfer Ew. Boy? <laughs> that kind of makes sense. I don't sense. know. Like I, a serious dude? So, yeah. a George Washington Surfer? George Washington Surfer. <laughs> Sounds right. Okay. GW. I can. GW. <laughs> Dude, you're stealing my thing now. <laughs> my W saying. Okay. All right, Sammy, what do you got? Okay, so I don't have a name picked out either. Okay. And I'm gonna be an elf though. Okay. And I need help picking a name. All right. I, I have no. So like, there's 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 tons of <laughs> websites really that there's you could just do like a a random generator mm-hmm. of a name too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Also, in like the player's handbook, there's names for the classes you could do. Mm-hmm. Oh. I was just bored on our Chicago trip, so I just kind of thought of Lyrup Syrup. But yeah. yeah, yeah, like I don't know. Depending on what your class is, you can have it something mixed with the fa- the fairy, not fairy, sorry, Elven, and <laughs> your class was so kind of un- almost both in a way. Just kind of gives us okay. that energy. There, there's a energies. there's another D and D podcast I listen to. I, I I think I got this from them. It's called the Dungeon Cast. Um, okay. And they threw out that just look up hockey players' names. <laughs> And they come, yeah. and they're just they're phenomenal for coming up with names that sound alien and out of this world and very fantasy like. It's like that, that one video we saw, the football players. Oh, okay. oh, from Key and Peel. Yeah, <laughs> that was great. Dan Smith, Aquarius <laughs> Duke Mary, <laughs> Morris Code, Razzitaz Magitaz. <laughs> Ohio State. <laughs> can, can you both just recreate that, please? Just you both. And then us three will just be laughing at you. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, Minnesota next. So Minnesota. All right. Back to, back to Sam. What class are you thinking? A bard. A bard. Yeah. I'll sing you. To have, have you given any thought, like, battle. what kind of bard? Like, oh. are they going to be a singing bard, a okay, musical so instrument bard? They're going to be, like, all of the above bard, okay? okay. Uh, okay. They are going to do some poetry. Mm-hmm. Okay. They're going to burst out into song. So a beatnik. And they will play She doesn't know what that is. <laughs> no, I know what a beatnik is. <laughs> you going to have a Tambor- turtleneck on? Tambourine. Oh, my gosh. Uh, a beret. And their instrument. I have a beret. Like, I had it in my head. What's the little like? It's not a ukulele. It's like a lyre. A lyre. Is that a lyre or a lyre? Lyre. Lyre. I do words. Uh, yes, a lyre. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. I look so hesitant. There. I'm gonna write these things on my. Yeah, you should. You should be writing these things down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Class is of course, we are recording this. So you can always reference this back later on. That in, is true. In case you forget, we'll have you do it's the hard work. work. It's too yeah. much work. No, we'll have him do it. So, well, with a bard, there's there's a ton of different directions you can go with it because, like, eventually, once we get to level three, that's when you pick out your subclass yeah. um, and you can go off in very specific directions with it. Like, there's even 
bards that are like uh, I think it's like all there's jack of all trades the, generally that's what a bard yeah, is is like you're a jack of all trades you're pretty much like you're decent at everything that's what a bard is but there's not that many things that you're like the best at you're mm-hmm. just you're good at everything so just average no no you're good okay so, so that's the thing so for, for Sammy the characters that, that you're going to be playing in D&D they are above average folk they they have abilities and stats that are that are just better than the average person that's out there. So you're essentially like you're adventurers. You're almost like superheroes, and and so that's why you are the f- folks that are going out and doing the things that you do. Now you don't have to be a good character either. You could be an evil one if you wanted to. <coughs> so, I'm a birdie. So like Batman. Yeah. Batman's not evil. <laughs> All superheroes are a little evil. They destroy like cities to oh, save people. Boy. Yeah, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, to like save this one person that somewhat loves them. Being you know? a vigilante is against the law. <laughs> so if you're a lawful good character, you would not be down with that. Uh, oh, should we say what our alignment is? Oh, do you, do you have that figured out already? Chaotic neutral. I follow the pancakes and the music. Chaotic neutral. Okay. Okay. All hey, right. my last character, I got called out for not being good enough. Well, you know what? Well, we well, we did have your alignment down as lawful good last time, and you were definitely not lawful okay, good. Okay, I was also like eight when I created the character. That's true. And so I just wanted to Following do the pancakes in the syrup, that sounds like you're looking elsewhere for guidance. So wouldn't that be a lawful neutral, maybe? No, I just follow the pancakes. I want pancakes in my life and, and i think she and you'll do anything to get them yes but i also okay. think that she kind of decides what the pancakes really are oh she's the high it's priestess literal of pancakes, pancakes. As well, yeah. <laughs> i want literal pancakes can i have okay. some pancakes no have some? they're mine okay <laughs> so so no <laughs> no okay birdie what do you got <sighs> wait, I need, I need, wait 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 <laughs> Why are you, why are you whispering you? into her eyes? <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, I want to be a rogue. A rogue? Yeah. Okay. A little stabby stab? Yeah. But then... Dagger, dagger, dagger. Okay, but rogues, they don't always have to be like, I am e- like dark and evil. They can also be happy if they want to, absolutely. right? Absolutely. They can no, also yes. be like a paladin. No, rogues, absolutely. You could make charisma your number one stat as a rogue, and you're just you're just like a con man or a thief, and that's that's your primary stat or if it's you like, wanted to. My heart has been broken. I do it for a good cause. You, you don't you don't have to go the the dark depressing route with a, with a rogue. She wants to be dark and depressing. Okay, no, let no, her be dark I, and depressing. I don't want to be so dark and depressing. You, I just want to be like. I mean, you could be an assassin that just takes pride in a job well done. <laughs> I'm just a little. I'm just seeming to know from experience. I mean, it's just a little splash of hot sauce in there of the hot sauce of dark and evil. Okay. I, I feel like that you're making character choices just to prepare the rest of us for being really inconsistent with your playing. What? Like it's like you're setting all of us up that you're going to have wild swings back and forth with the decisions that you make with this character, and it seems like you're just preparing all of us for that. <laughs> no, is that is. She wants to be a little dark and mysterious. No, which no. you can, absolutely. She okay. wants to be the main character in her own fantasy novel. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let her have her moment. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I just want to be somewhat evil at, like, when I'm, like, doing the, I don't know, when I'm in my alter ego, okay? Okay. I don't know what that is. Is it going to be, like, a trigger for your alter ego yes. at particular times? Yes. Okay, what is that? Do you, any idea? Um... Not yet. Okay. Is it I when Lyra f- plays music? Yes. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> it's very... I feel oh. like Birdie's character is going like, to attack me in my sleep one night. Mm-hmm. I, d- I think we're all supposed to be worried about that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's after the pancakes. No. <laughs> but what if I said I hate pancakes? Right, well, we'll think about it then. So it's like you don't have to have a specific trigger no. for that for yeah. that sort of thing. So this is more like a Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde type of thing? Like, when you go Jack into your hide. alter ego, are you, like, a different character at that point? Kind of, yeah. Like, a different alignment? Like, with Willow Carter, you're all good, and then you go to a wild card, and you're, like, evil. Yeah. Okay. So, and so would wild card have different motivations compared to, to Willow? Not sure yet. Okay. All right. I, th- I, 
I still have you, a lot yeah, of figuring yeah, out. Yeah, we don't have to. You don't have to figure everything out. All I got is my that. first name and my in my player name on here so far. <laughs> so, oh, and one thing to throw out as well is like as we start going up in levels, you could start multi-classing. Oh, that would be an interesting idea. It's like depending on what persona you're in, you're a rogue in one, and then like a paladin in the other. Mm-hmm. That that'd be cool. Yeah. Okay. 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 Cool. I still need to figure out a lot of this. I feel I feel That's like this will just me- need a lot of thought. Time. We'll play around with it. Okay. Trent. <laughs> I've been looking at Monk. Nice. S- specifically, the drunken master. Punchy, Are you punchy. going the Ninja Turtle route? Is that what's happening? <laughs> that was not the plan. <laughs> that was not the Ninja plan. Turtle. I kind of uh, picked. You know, I was. I, I threw Tortle out there and it seemed to. Uh, yeah, and then you heard Surfer Dude, all yeah, that. I would, yeah. Do you, you like know. pizza? Are you from the House of Pizza? <gasps> the, I grew no. up in a sewer raised by a rat. <laughs> <laughs> so. The, the pla- the oh, plaza. Gonna that. He's we're never gonna actually pizza had plaza. pizza. Yeah. That, that could be your character's yeah, arc. Searching. You're <laughs> searching for the perfect yeah. food. But you're, you're the misfit the of the. Hey, yes. hey, hey. <laughs> you're the fifth mem- member of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and you're just, you've just been left out. And that's my your name like, is Botticelli. Yeah. <laughs> I thought the food was my thing. <laughs> Not anymore. You're a bard. Everything is your thing. Yeah. Everything. Right. Sammy, what do you got? Uh, I want to be a sorcerer, and I think I'm going to use, like, I'm going to cast a spell, and I think I'm going to steal some pancakes. <laughs> That's what Mage Hand is for. You are my Why favorite right now. Is everybody attacking me? First my wings, and now my pancakes. Oh, yeah. I'm also going to chop off some wings. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna get along. You better be like chaotic evil or something. Who knows? <laughs> Are you like an evil sorcerer? Maybe. <laughs> okay. Do you want to be like a sorcerer that kind of just does what they want and don't? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm. And if we find the perfect pizza, I'm gonna eat it, and I'm not gonna give it me. <laughs> okay. I was gonna say eating the pizza is what you're supposed to do, but yeah. n- not sharing it. Ooh, I'm boy. not gonna share it. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> you're just here to torment those food lovers. Yeah. All right. So, so just to recap, <laughs> we're thinking a fairy, a fairy bard. bard from the house of pancakes. Chaotic energy. We don't know what's going oh, on we with don't, me we yet. Don't, we don't know about the mm-hmm. race yet, but mm-hmm. a rogue, chaotic. Emo, dark, split personality, <laughs> and happy, types of happy stuff. go lucky too. Don't forget about this that part. Is all alter ego. This is actually pretty on brand for you, honestly. <laughs> on brand, yeah. it is. I know I'm making a character that is going to be literally me in a way, except a little. So am I. A little heightened up. No, you, you, you wouldn't want to take the wings off of anything. Me? Except yeah. Me? Yeah, it's my sister. <laughs> <laughs> I feel the loss. That, that, that sounds about right. We have a turtle, <laughs> dragonborn, uh, monk. Uh, probably a turtle monk at this okay. point. Um, you should have like very, really big I, I'm thinking, You're getting some positive reactions. Yep, I'm thinking neutral that. good. You okay. should be a nerd. What were you saying, Chen? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, turtle monk, very uh, happy-go-lucky, cheerful, just kind of looking for a mellow time um, <laughs> super chill yeah, go with super the flow chill. kind of a yeah a neutral good okay yeah okay and then and then we have a, an elf sorcerer um, who's leaning evilish a little evil. bit evil yeah oh, oh my god i'm gonna steal the pizza chop off the wings steal the pancakes that could also be chaotic uh, neutral yeah Neut- well, chaotic, 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 chaotic yeah. neutral just means you do what you want to do yeah um, actually i think Disney. mine's gonna be more chaotic good because yeah. i'm not that <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah because so. yeah, if, if if you're just if you're going out of your way to cause harm to other people that's when you start going into to the evil portion yeah. but if you're just doing things because you want I'm to do them i'm just doing it because i'm hungry and I want pizza and pancakes. You know? right, that's a, that's oh, yeah. a little more neutral than, <laughs> I get than you, evil, I get but yeah. And okay. also, I want to just chop off Sam's wings. <laughs> like that'd be fun. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> question for the DM. Yes. So for this campaign, will you be like, depending on our actions, maybe adjusting our alignment? Like, no. Oh, no. okay. Generally, I, d- I don't pay attention to, to that stuff. Uh, very much. I just like to try and establish it at the very beginning to give you an idea how you want to play your character. Mm-hmm. But alignments can shift; they can change. Uh, in older versions of D and D, alignment used to be much more important. Like there used to be magical items that you could not use unless you had a particular alignment. Huh. Um, but even in fifth edition, like there's some magical items that you can only use if you're a particular class. Mm-hmm. But I don't think there's anything 
detrimental in fifth edition based off of your alignment. Okay. So just just kind of like a guiding thing, just like mm-hmm. to give you an idea. It's like what's the kind of flavor that you want to play with for, flavor. for your character? Yeah. Do you want to, you want a sweet character? You want a sour one? Want one that's a little crunchy? Well, flavor I'm be bubble mango. anyone? Want well, one that's a little cheesy? Be please, mango. please. I'll be blackberry. <laughs> blackberry is that? You? <laughs> that sounds. Am- I love blackberry or cranberry. All right. I'll be pancakes. So, have you thought about your background? Um, so, so, this is like this. This is like the yes. first choice that actually gets into mechanics. So, like, like an official background. Oh, okay. Because there are some new mm-hmm. backgrounds that are part of this adventure book that okay. isn't part of the the core rules that that you Can have. Can I give you like my idea, and Absolutely. then you tell me what it's more well, like? Well, well, we'll probably have to take it offline. So, yeah, just yeah, give me give okay. me an idea of what you're looking for. <clears throat> so, there's the house of pancakes, right? Yeah. That means there's other houses. Yep. We have the house of bacon. We have the. Well, it doesn't necessarily mean there's other houses. There is yeah, other houses. But it's the there. Breakfast Kingdom. The, the Breakfast yeah. Club. The Breakfast Club. The Breakfast Club. <laughs> <laughs> Cue the yeah. music. It is the Breakfast Club, yes. Okay. We have the house of bagels. We have the house of waffles. French well, okay. toast. French toast. Waffles, they were a house, but they got banned because they're just pancakes with abs. So <laughs> waffles are pancakes with abs. Yeah, waffles so the house of waffles got banned from the Breakfast Kingdom. So The Breakfast Club? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's no changing that, is there? Okay, so, so there's there's actually a, uh, a background called Fey Lost. So that you used to be in the Fey Wilds. And where now, all the houses in the breakfast club Where all club the houses in the breakfast club was. Mm-hmm. And for whatever reason, it's like you ended up in the the regular world. And as you've been here, it's like your memories have been fading of that. Or like at least you uh, don't have the specifics about how you got over here. But yeah. you just know you're trying to get back. Yeah, that's why I love pancakes so much. They remind me of home. Okay. And like I just, Oh my gosh, it's perfect. All right. So, so, the, so it sounds like Faye lost could be a uh, a good background for you then yeah do i put that as big background on my well sheet? it's like we, we should yeah we, we should go through it because there, there might be some other backgrounds that um uh that you like better than that because mm-hmm. there are specific proficiencies such as skills and tools and languages and equipment that you get from this but one thing that comes along with this is a fey mark meaning uh you were transformed in some small way by your stay in the fey wild and gained a Fay mark determined by rolling on the Fay mark table. Can you roll a D eight for me? But what's a Fay mark? Is it like, like a tattoo? There, there's something that's very unique to you. <gasps> that, I'm special. N- that nobody else has, and it's because of the time that you spent in the Fay wild. I think it should look like a okay. pancake. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, like a stack of pancakes, yeah. so like the butter and <laughs> syrup Oozing on top. Butter, um, <gasps> yeah, yeah, and, and, and you, like some whipped cream. And, and, <laughs> Yes. Whatever you, Rainbow sprinkles. Whatever you roll, you don't have to take this. It's just it's just to add some color and some additional detail. What if we do the pancakes mark? One. One. <laughs> One pancake. Your mark. eyes swirl with iridescent colors. Ooh. Can I see the other options though? Or should I just like keep it at that? Uh, I I like that. I like That's pretty. That. What if it's like a changing syrupy color? Well, I should tell you, like blueberry if you, syrup, if raspberry you, syrup. Apricot syrup, <laughs> uh, yes. maple syrup. Yeah. yeah, I have rainbow eyes. So, as an example, if you would have rolled an eight on this table, uh, you have a tail like that of a dog or another animal. I would be a furry. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> I don't want to be a furry. All right, we're going with number one then. Yeah, we are. Okay. Okay, I, I, yeah. we have another die roll that you need to do. Ooh. Okay. So, so wait, is, do I put that as? Because there's eye color, right? You put it on here. <gasps> You're. Iridescent colors uh, is your. I spell iridescent. I can't spell to save my life. Oh, iridescent. Sorry, yes. I lost the spot here. Um, my gosh, Dad. I r i d e s c e n t. Iridescent. Mm. This is gripping audio podcasting right now. <laughs> so I need another die roll from you because okay. you picked fairy. As your race or your species, I did. Uh, you get another fey characteristic That's for that. That's so cool. I, did you say I get a ta- I, no, no. It's like a different table. Okay, but, but it is a D eight again. Oh boy. Okay. Two. Two. You have shimmering, multicolored skin. Hmm. 
so like depending on my mood i'm a different color if you say so so you could say that narratively like so when you get uh upset maybe your skin turns a little bit uh turns very bright pink or red um or when you're sad maybe it turns a little bit blue there wouldn't be anything like mechanically that Uh goes along with it like you wouldn't take uh any penalties for like trying to lie to someone and you know suddenly you flush with all these colors right right okay Actually, I, kind of, I like that. You know, I'm very expressive. Or yeah, because it's it's very it, yeah shimmering, multicolored skin. You could even say it's the different syrup um, uh, that's coming uh, coming across your skin as well. Her eyes and skin can match. Yeah, they could. Oh my god, they could. <gasps> okay, so what do I write for skin? Just color changing? Um, multicolored skin, shimmering, multicolored skin. <gasps> shimmering, I like that word. And you are small. Your movement is thirty What's my feet. My height. Uh, you're small, so you'd be around like three feet tall. Okay, and then what's my weight? Your weight? Yeah. Um, Just small? And you said my speed was 30 feet? Your speed is 30, okay. yes. Uh, we, we could roll for it, um, for what your, your weight would be. Um, what's your like, general? Well, if it, no, I think that's a detail that we should take offline. Oh, okay. But but yeah, but generally I think like if I I'll just... I'll start t- small. Like gnomes or halflings I think are only like 30, 35 pounds. Okay, I'm just going to write small. Uh, skin is shimmering, multicolor. And so, and, and so, Sammy, these are just some of the aspects that would come out in, in the character creation. We're not going to go through everything. I just wanted to get sort of mm-hmm. like the basics of okay. what we were going to have. If my eyes change colors and my skin changes colors, does my hair change colors? <laughs> sure, if you want. No. <laughs> <laughs> no it's gonna be like syrup color hair okay 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 so just like a, a real nice like silky yes. brown color uh-huh like an amber yes okay okay is your hair gonna be like sticky like syrup Ew, no <laughs> Ew, no no <gasps> <laughs> no. No. What if, like, you could like very easily put it into like an updo and it just stays, or you could put it off to the <laughs> side and it just stays because it's all sticky and syrupy. You know what? Think, I, think about it. Think about it. That would work. <laughs> just like one day, it's like all twisted and. Ooh. You would. You would never have a bad hair day. Yeah, it's like permanent <gasps> yeah. hair gel. You know what? I'm gonna think on that. <laughs> but then when it's just like down and normal, it's like silky and smooth. Yeah. But then right when you want it up, it just stays up. Like yeah, that. like it's. Yeah. Uh, okay. Mm, okay. So, w- what uh, what kind of wings would you have? Would they be like butterfly wings? Um, that's usually the the standard okay. for for fairies. Um, I kind of wanted uh, blue ones because I like blue. Sure. Wait. Okay. Wait. Like a bluish, purplish, pinkish. You you get you get what I mean? So like for for reference, here's <coughs> some pictures of fairies. Oh, but those are so cool. In the book. Ooh. Okay, I'm actually wanting actual butterfly ones. Butterfly wings? Yeah. Blue butterfly wings? Yes. Or think about it. Okay, I'm just going to write butterfly wings. Okay. All right. Birdie. (laughs) (laughs) She's just going through the handle. That's right. You have not decided on on a race as of yet. I am not. Everyone can be leer up syrup by the house of pancakes. (laughs) Okay. Hey, so there's there's another race that's available in this particular adventure. Tell me. I, they're called heron gons. Mm-hmm. They're their hair is they're, gone. They're bunny rabbits. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like you. I'm they're, a bunny. They're, <laughs> I'm a bunny. They're giant Evil. bunnies. Evil bunny. Okay, why at is night, that like happy bunny? You know the day. movie <laughs> Rise of the Guardians, <laughs> like the Easter oh bunny. Oh my god, the Easter bunny. Yeah. It's so the Easter yes. bunny. So again, you don't have to make a decision right mm-hmm. now, but that is that is a new option uh, available with this adventure that you didn't have before. I am kind of leaning towards. Some sort of like half human something. Okay. You could be okay. Well, no, a tiefling's not quite half human. Okay, I mean, like some sort of thing like that. So I, I think like tiefling or half elf, um, half orc, um, <gasps> could. Uh, those are the races that come to mind. Oh, okay. I can imagine when she says like happy is just and half orc like skipping around <laughs> the flowers. <laughs> like, <laughs> hello, this hello. deep voice. Mm-hmm. I am hello, happy hello. right now. I love flowers. <laughs> I sing in the shower. So, so you probably okay. don't have any idea Look on uh, a sunbeam. <laughs> <laughs> I love my life. 
I am a ray of freaking sunshine. (laughs) I'm a freaking delight. (laughs) I love the sun and I hate darkness. Except (laughs) when it's night. Flower power. (laughs) Who needs boyfriends when you have D&D podcasts? That's right. (laughs) Are you quoting me right now? Yeah, she just quoted you. (laughs) I know. I don't need boyfriends, okay? (laughs) Okay. All right, so Bert, you have you have more to, to, to figure out on on your character. Yeah, but I, I am kind of leaning towards more the human aspect with some sort of twist. Okay. How yeah. else? Well, so since um, all right, so you got some stuff to figure out. Oh yeah, offline. for sure. Mm-hmm. Um, so since Sam got to roll some dice, we're gonna come back and do your attributes. But since okay. uh, since we're on you right now, let's let's have you roll your attributes real quick. Okay. Wait, but. I think I already just made the decision. I think I want to be a half elf. Half Even elf? though I was an elf for the last campaign, but like, elves are so, cool. So, elves are cool. Yeah. They're pretty neat. Okay. Yay! Half I had made a decision. Yay. That's hard. All right, so because I want you to roll some dice, we're going to have you roll your stats. This oh, is, yeah. So, Sammy, this is where the gambling portion of this game uh-huh. comes into play that, that mm-hmm. everyone loves. You need four D6s. Okay. I'm using... Oh, I need so, D sixes right now. So mm-hmm. in, in campaign one, we just there's what's called a standard array for for your stats. It's just like the the book throws out numbers from fifteen to eight, and then you just get to pick which attribute you want them to be in. So you could make strength your highest attribute and put a fifteen there. You could take a fourteen, throw that in your charisma, uh, your wisdom, your intelligence, etc. This version of stats is we're randomly rolling for them. So that means you could end up with really high numbers for all of your stats, Mm -hmm. or you could end up with really low numbers for your stats. Yeah, one, just having to sleep all the time, always being tired. (laughs) Right, right. Yeah, one time I got a 19 for one of mine. That's impossible. No, it was a plus, like, but oh. the race I chose got a plus one of that. Sure. It was three sixes and then like a plus one. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So you yeah, so you rolled the highest for that. Yeah. Oh. But also want to point out, like on a critical roll, Grog got a six. He got a six for his intelligence. And it turned out to be like an amazing character because the way that they played how dumb the character was. Mm-hmm. It's like it created fantastic moments within the game where this character just made really <laughs> interesting choices <laughs> because they had a six choices. intelligence and it created all kinds of mm-hmm. uh, you know, chaos. Just very memorable yeah, chaos and adventures with, yeah. within the group mm-hmm. so we don't have to roll for our let's stats. do it okay <laughs> <laughs> all right so, so you're gonna roll four six siders yep and you're gonna keep the top three and you're gonna do that six times um Okay, uh, 11. Okay, 11. Do I can pick where that goes then? Yes. Yeah, but just yeah so just just do this six times. And so I would write, yeah, wait, I would write wait these, until you have all six. Okay. Before Good. You decide. I would write these numbers down on the side of your character mm-hmm. sheet, but write it in lightly because it's not the permanent spot for them. It's just you just write the numbers down so you know what they mm-hmm. are. Okay, we're doing again. Yep. Oy, oy, oy. Eight. Eight, okay. Not that great. Oh. 13. 13? Okay. Come on, let's get a high one. It's so quiet. Oh! 17. 17. Nice. Okay. This is... You've got two more to go, but so far this this is going to be a pretty good character. character. Oh. (laughs) Actually, I got this. Nine. Nine? Okay. There's two ones, so... (laughs) Nine again. Nine again? Okay. Yeah. All right, so you've got... You got a couple of low ones that are in there. Yeah. But also 17. But but you got a 17 that's in there, too. That's that's pretty darn good. So you're going to have a real high stat in one and some uh, middling ones in in others. Okay, can I pick right now? Because I can do it? (laughs) Yeah, you can start doing that, but I'm going to move on from you. Okay. (laughs) Trent. Dice there. Okay. <clears throat> and any idea on like a background for for your character? Have you given that any thought? Well, for the last uh, you know five minutes, sure. Yeah. Um, okay. Still thinking about it. <laughs> okay. 
Yeah, I'm gonna need these. He's blind. Guys. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So eight. Eight. All right. Starting off great. Strong start. <laughs> eight. Eight. We're starting off great. That's a rise. Oh. That's not crime. Nine. Nine. All right. Trending in the right direction. <laughs> Uh-oh. Got away from me. All right. Uh, six, five, four. That is 15. 15. All right. Oh, my gosh. Triple sixes. 18. Hey. There we go. Pretty, pretty good. Followed by an eight. And one more. Come on, big money. Eleven. Eleven. Oh. All right. That's actually pretty yeah. close to what Birdie had rolled, actually. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you know how to do it? Yeah. All right. Oh, do you guys need dice? I have a couple I could spare. All right, <laughs> Sammy, let's roll your, roll your stats. Uh, let me just do the math. <laughs> I'm blanking. I can't do math anymore. <laughs> um, That's oh, eight. Ten. That's eight. Oh, it's eight. You you throw out the eight. lowest eight. number. There you go. Eight. Eight. Yep. I can't do math yep. Roll all four and then just add the highest three. That's eleven plus. Thirteen. Yeah, thirteen. Thirteen. Okay. Ten. Ten. All right. Pretty solid. Pretty solid. Um. Oh. Eleven. Eleven. Okay. And. Yet. Oh, one got away. Oh, good thing it's the lowest number. Okay. Um. Eleven. Another eleven. Okay. All right. Yeah, one more. This is your last one. Oh, Wait. don't forget. <laughs> Fifteen. Fifteen. Mm-hmm. Okay, good. She got a high one in there at the end. Yeah. Well, those are all pretty solid, you know. Yeah, she got eight, thirteen, ten, eleven, eleven, fifteen. Yeah, yeah that's pretty good. Yeah. All right, Sam. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay, nine. Nine? All right. Yeah. Yeah, okay, I rolled two ones, so I got scared. Yeah, it's, it's always scary when there's a bunch of ones that show up in your <laughs> stat rolls. I was like, oh boy. <laughs> hey, 17. Wow. Yeah. Oh my God. Six. Six. <laughs> 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 Okay. Strength, strength, strength. Seven, two, six. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. That's charisma, right? <laughs> yeah. For a bard, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shoot. Five. <laughs> what? That's probably strength. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh no. no. Oh, no. Oh, that's Leo. bad. <laughs> I'm scared. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Twelve. Twelve, okay. Better. I just have one more. Oh my gosh! <laughs> okay. Thirteen. Thirteen, okay. Oh, a six and a five. Oh boy. Oh no. Um, with the two low rolls like that, I. <laughs> I will uh, I will let you roll one more time to swap out that five. Oh, five. But you have to keep the six. Oh. <laughs> you know, you should have her keep the going. five and re-roll the yeah. six. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I am re- oh, oh my gosh. That's worse than you mentioned she gets lower. That would be funny. Thirteen. Thirteen. Okay. okay. I can good. work with that. Goodbye, five. What, what are you using the six for? Probably... I don't know, for like Probably a fairy strength. bard strength. Strength seems yeah. would make sense yeah, to me. For strength. Yeah. I mean a fairy, yeah. 
Yeah. Now, be challenging people to a strength contest and barely being able to lift a pancake or something. I don't know. Well, I, I think you're, you're you're small. You're like three feet tall, right? And you probably have hollow bones for allow you to fly. You know, so you're very light. So yeah, there just wouldn't be a lot of yeah. You're you're not going to be arm wrestling. So, no you no sousaphone. You no can't sousaphone be. I'm a, I will play the tuba. I will arm wrestle. Oh, I'm. Gonna, mm. I, I forget. Based on your class, you get to you get more added to. That's okay. right. Okay, so yep. then. Excuse well, me, no, ba- based off of the the race that you pick, that adds on to your attributes. Um, d- depend. There are minimums that you have to for certain attributes in certain classes as well. So okay. you couldn't. Uh, you can't. I don't think you could put a six in your charisma and still mm-hmm. be a bard. No, I don't. I'm putting the seventeen in charisma. Okay. Wait. Okay. For a bard, would intelligence or wisdom be better higher? Uh, I'm not sure. I think for a bard, they're kind of evenly matched. I would almost say intelligence. Wisdom? I feel like wisdom would be better okay. for a bard, but... What do you I guess think, it Trent? Depends on, like, it's your, uh, whether you're more interested in uh, perception or investigation. Ooh, perception, I could see my surroundings. So that would be wisdom. Yeah, but investigation, I could find gold. It says you're... Or the lucky pancake. <laughs> <laughs> it says uh, choose your uh, dexterity second. Oh, Actually, that would make that would make a lot of sense. Acrobatics and well, in your uh, armor class, yeah, dexterity Uh, would make the most amount of sense. Okay. Okay. Well, I mean, my next one's thirteen, so I have two thirteen, so I could put a thirteen for wisdom too. Okay. Okay. All right. So now, so the the way that this campaign is going to go, you are going to start out as full fledged adventurers outside of the Witchlight Carnival. Now, do you do any of you want to have like a shared history with with each other? Because you would have known each other from children. So that's so. Actually, here let me let, let me take a step Fair back. Realms, let me so. take a step back. So as children, you did meet each other, and the way that you all knew each other as children is that you all snuck into the Witchlight Carnival <gasps> without buying a ticket. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> Seems like us. And you were promptly kicked out of the carnival once you were discovered. We were just kids. But where yeah. things is a little little murky and a little little gray in your memories is that you do remember meeting the owners. Uh, you can't quite recall their names, but you remember that they, they were elves. They were like, but they were different kinds of elves, so you're not quite sure. I mean, you might be able to remember more later on, but once we get your stats built out, I'll let you roll for it and you can remember more we details. We have an elf and a half elf, so wouldn't they be it? These are different kinds of, of elves. So there's there's lots of different variations mm-hmm. of elves. Um, yeah. Yeah. Can you give us an intro to the Witchlight Carnival so that we sure. have some context? Can we have some like mis- music too? Some carnival music? <coughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Sammy. Give us some music. We're just do, do, creepy do. carnival. Da, 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 the bard. All right. Yeah. The, tra- <laughs> All right. the traveling. Ba, ba, ba. Extra- <laughs> yeah, that's always great. <laughs> <laughs> that's the the traveling. The traveling extravaganza known as the Witchlight Carnival visits your world once every eight years. You have a dim memory of sneaking into the carnival as a child without paying for a ticket. The memory has grown foggy over time, though it still conjures a weird admixture of emotions. Wonder and awe mixed with loss and regret. 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 Loss and regret. I regret that regret. During this childhood visit, your character lost something. You tried to find it, but the carnival owners, a pair of elves named Mr. Witch and Mr. Light, were decidedly unhelpful. What do we lose? Silly little screeching cricket, said Witch. You forgot to buy a ticket. The carnival goes round and round, said Light. The multiverse is our playground. Nothing's free and nothing's lost. Every visit has its cost. As time passed, your heart became less heavy and you gave less and less thought to those childhood events. Now, for reasons you can't explain, The longing to retrieve that which you have lost has resurfaced, as though an old spell has faded away, allowing you to feel the loss as sharply as it happened yesterday. 
the Witchlight Carnival has returned, and you find yourself standing near a ticket booth by the entrance at twilight. Just as the carnival is about to open, there you meet others who look as troubled as you. Without knowing how or why, you sense that each of them has lost something as well. Perhaps fate has brought you together. Ooh. We are going to roll now for, for what, what it lost? was that you lost. But what, what if I want to pick it? No, you have to. I think it should be a. Can I lose what? like a shoe? <laughs> yeah. Spend my whole life trying C- to find that Cinderella. one shoe. Yeah, the long Cinderella. lost pancake. So, <laughs> so I think a spatula uh, maybe. Okay, wait. Is this like? Can I lose a sibling? Okay. Yes. Oh, whoa. Yes. Someone want to be my sibling? Day. If you, if you want no. So here's the thing. So, Day. Have sibling. So there, so there is a table that that I roll on to randomly give you what you lost, but I don't want to just say that you're stuck with that. I, I will let you pick it, but it does have to be something significant because it has to be a driving force for why you would want to go back to the mm-hmm. carnival to get it back. So like a shoe is not significant enough. But what if it was like a really expensive, like <laughs> yeah, Queen Elizabeth? Like, yeah, what if it costed like... One hundred million dollars. It was Cinderella's shoe. It could have set your family straight. Yeah, and I could have earned like a lot of money because I stole it from the carnival they stole, to bring back stole. to my family because we were poor, and we wanted to sell that shoe for a lot of money so we could so become car- rich. Did you just create uh, so, a backstory? So, 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 so here, oh, maybe. Yes, you, you just <laughs> so the carnival stole your life. So I, I will, I will <laughs> yeah. allow that to happen, but then the implications of this ever since you lost yeah. that shoe. It was your left shoe, and for some reason now, you can no longer turn left. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> no, thank you. So, like, when you rotate, you have to, like, really just turn right? Yeah, she has to turn right <gasps> like three our times. Like our dog? So <laughs> our dog cannot turn left. So, yeah, you, yeah, you can go with that if you want, but just that's the sort of add-on that I'll do. Yeah, if you want it to just be a shoe that goes along with that backstory, that's the added thing you that know, you lose. You know, maybe I lost... Do you want to roll for it just to see f- yeah. some examples? Oh, uh, sure. Okay. Yeah. Roll a roll a D eight. Do you know which well, one? Well, only is? eight oh. options. There's only eight options. Oh. Oh, but we can like pick the thing, but like it's the same significant. <coughs> okay, whatever. Hold on. Uh, yeah, just roll. Yeah. Okay, yeah, just roll. Yeah. Two. That was a Two. really bad roll, but this <laughs> <laughs> <Just> plot. <laughs> Two. You lose your ability to smile. <gasps> <gasps> You're evil, so yeah, I, I'm a dark, evil, chop off fairies' wings, steal pancakes and pizza kind are, of person. Are you emo now too? Whoa! Whoa. So, so <laughs> you the last sisters of emo town. What's up? <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> I'm a. Life sucks. I just wanna eat food. <laughs> but I can't eat pancakes or pizza because I haven't found the right pancake and the right pizza to okay. eat. You know, it does It didn't say you can't be happy. It just said you can't smile. So you can still. Oh my god! I'm so happy right now. Look at those pretty flowers. Yeah. I am so happy right now. This is so awesome. That was a really funny joke. Uh-huh. I'm laughing so uh-huh. hard right now. Yeah. That's so, funny. Sam, are I you going to keep funny. that one? <laughs> I found that very Me. humorous. <laughs> yeah. You're going to keep it? I can't yeah. stop smiling. I. You, you want to keep that? That's what you lost? <laughs> yeah. Do we, write that in, My for- do we write that in like our um, uh, additional features and tricks? Absolutely, yeah. Write that into the details uh, of your character. I've got a I tracker here. Smile. So, okay, wait. But on we should be on just features so and traits or back. additional oh, features and traits. Right uh, wherever wherever you think is the most appropriate on the character sheet, direct that. I'm gonna put it on my first page because I'm a first page person. I don't know what that right. means. Like. So again, this is this is just a a, a <laughs> random table um, for for rolling. And so if you don't like what you rolled, you, you can make something else up. Um, but it has to be something significant like that because not being able to smile that's that's a big I, deal I do smile a lot so this is going to be hard wait, what if ones you can only smile so like <laughs> oh my god the, your grandma Hi. just died I'm, I'm so, so sorry sad. for I'm you so sad I can't right just, now why are you smiling <laughs> my grandma died <laughs> <laughs> I lost Tr- Trent would you, would you like to go next sure R- roll, a, <laughs> roll a d8 I don't know if you could beat that <laughs> Dad, and well, I am gonna make a rule that there's gonna be no duplication. No okay. one can have the same loss. Okay, don't lose. I think oh, it would be darn. less interesting if there's no. like everyone just I have lost a plan. their plan. No one shoe. Five. 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 No one's doing my plan. Dang. Was that 
You lost your, <laughs> you lost your handwriting. Oh, you can't write. To he all has very other good creatures, handwriting, the character's so handwriting is ill. Illegible. Oh, that's so sad. And requires a comprehend languages spell or similar magic to decipher. I will oh. not cast so that spell. So you for can you. read your own writing, but to everyone else, it's gibberish. So if you write a letter, you just like my dearest love, and then just blah 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 blah. Just, you know, a yeah. love letter. <laughs> I don't you know. should just get someone else to write it. I think if it got that far, what if it's an embarrassing You could, yeah. Th- th- there are ways to get around that sort of thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That would be bad if it was like embarrassing. Like something. you could make flashcards with like a smile written on that you could just hold up <gasps> over your face yeah. to like you indicate like to someone if you're happy note. or not. <laughs> Smiling so hard. Or no, yeah, there's like, like little loopholes. <laughs> what if you have surgery to like make your mouth smile? No, but that wouldn't work because then it would just immediately go down. Then you pass it, would, it would just yeah. pull your eyes down. <laughs> <laughs> <You'd be> like, <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Since we're just going around the table, Birdie, you yeah, want to go next? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I got four. Your sibling has please, died. Please, please. Uh, wait. I thought. Wait, I'm sorry. I thought you wanted to go with a lost sibling. Yeah, I do. Cause, okay. Okay. Because I. I. Okay. This is coming together for me. Or do you want to see what you rolled though? Well, yeah. What is a four? Anyways. Well, I'm. I don't want to tell you. Oh, if okay. Sam rolls that. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm. I want to do a childhood and then. Wait. So if I if I lost a sibling, mm-hmm. how would that turn out for me? Like, what would the you would, you would get to decide? So, but you lost a sibling in the carnival. Yeah, that is why you are back here. That's why you would want to go back uh-huh. in is because you want to find your sibling. You so easily abandoned your sibling. No, I lost. Wow. Them. Well, so, lost so the carnival them. comes and goes every eight years. So once you got kicked out and they closed up shop, they disappeared oh. out of this world. So is that out of this world? Yes. I have it. I have it. Okay. So the reason why I have this dark al- alter ego is because I lost my sibling. And so Ooh. I've been trying, I've been like looking and like then, you know, doing some bad stuff while trying to look for my lost sibling. And so when I hear the carnival comes back in town, I head back because I haven't found my sibling in eight years. Mm. But we have to know, do you buy the ticket or do you sneak in again? We'll we'll get to that next time. Yeah. That 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 is actually going to be the first uh, encounter oh, of the campaign. How much is the ticket? Because yeah. we, we're not there. We're, we're, we're not there yet. We're not there yet. <laughs> okay, so I will tell you what the four is, but I want yeah. Sam to roll her lost things first. Six. Six. You lose your sense of direction. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Sam, that's kind of perfect. Go? It's no wonder uh, she can't find her pancakes. Sam. I can't find her pancakes. <laughs> no, it's, it's perfect because you came back from like the Fey realm. Look, your pancakes and, all that, and you can't right. come back. Is it up, down, left, right? I don't know. Sense of direction. The character suffering from this loss has trouble figuring out which way is north and where they are geographically. Do I have to like always go like left, right? Which one's left? <laughs> this this one's I still left. do that sometimes. I'm like, uh, yeah. I'm like this I, way. I kind of feel like that, that's up to you. It's like whatever makes the most amount of sense that you think or what's interesting. Like, yeah, it could be that severe I'll that ri- you don't know you're left from your I'll right. I'll write a song so I remember which way is which. But it will be wrong. <laughs> okay, thank <laughs> I'll the be opposite. sure to write it down for you. They're the opposite. <laughs> I'm going oh, right. Wow, I'm thanks. going left. <laughs> okay, I'll, I think I like that. What was the four, though? All right, so the four was a cherished doll or stuffed animal was Ooh. lost, which when I first read that list... Um, I wasn't a huge fan, but maybe depending on the characters, like you, you lose that childhood doll or chair stuffed animal. That could be pretty good Trauma. motivation if, for trying to go back in. Or if it was like my my mom gave, that was the last thing she gave me. Mm. So it's like stuff like that. Yeah. What if? Okay, I feel like you, okay, so you left like the carnival, but then you dropped your stuffed animal or something or like doll, but then your sibling runs back in to go get it, but then the carnival closes. <gasps> And they disappear out of this world. And so you feel guilty that yeah. you, you lost your sibling because of and your, your stuffed s- animal. Yeah, that's the yeah. worst part. <laughs> My stuffed animal. Okay, I feel like uh, Sammy got the worst of it. Like, although not being able to write, that's pretty. That, that's pretty. Not being able to see to like which direction. Honestly, to like, express myself. Yeah, you just, can you just sing pull it, it. like one of those people. Don't worry, I'll write you a song so you can. <laughs> I mean, direction. I mean. 
Yeah, but I just like I go with the flow, man. I mean, I lost a human being. Yeah. Like, well, you also, also lost your stuffed animal. You know? I could have. Yeah. yeah. So the, the kind of the sense that I'm getting from from the table right now it sounds like everyone is kind of interested in having like their own individual histories. Mm-hmm. I'm willing though. And to have when some. you come back together in front of the carnival. You remember each other as as children, but you are f- still effectively strangers. I Is haven't grown in ten years. Yeah. Or or would you? Do you think that maybe some of these characters might have stayed in contact with each other over the years? I mean, I was from a different realm, so like, yeah. if someone wants to be in contact, I will gladly. I think, yeah, sure. <laughs> well, he can't sure. write. He Actually, forgot. you two, yeah, you staying two. in contact seems like that would I, work out really yeah, well. We're both like. Uh, you both are like <laughs> those dark like so I I can't but, smile. Yeah. <laughs> we're like, only dark clothing. We're both having yeah. these dark thoughts though about cutting Sam's wings off, so we're like besties Wait, or something. So you, you're happy uh, on the outside and she's sad on the outside, but maybe she's happy on the inside and you're sad on the inside. Oh my god. Yeah, because I can't smile, but I'm smiling. You Hold up inside. Like the other Hold up. Yes. I yes. do. What if Sammy is Birdie's long lost sibling? Oh like God. she actually did leave the carnival. I did, but I left out a different side, and then I ran around trying to find but, her, but, but I couldn't. Don't but I'm in half. But they don't but remember. I, the me- so it, it wasn't just the sister that was lost; it was the memory of the sister Step that got lost. Step sibling, or 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 it could be a or it could, <coughs> we could still be siblings, but we both. Lo- Never mind. No. What? Okay. <laughs> Nothing. Self-centered. It wouldn't work. The, it wouldn't <laughs> okay, work the so best. you guys know each other. We don't know yeah. if you're siblings. We'll see what happens. Maybe you, could, maybe you consider each other sisters, but you're not actually no. sisters. You're We're from the sisterhood of emo girls. Yeah. yeah. And I was actually thinking I would lose a brother. Not gonna lie, but oh, oh. <laughs> what a brother! Nice. No offense. Um, no offense, Sammy. <laughs> I actually don't take any offense to that. <laughs> <laughs> our, our brother. Our brothers overrated. They are definitely overrated. Okay. Really overrated. <laughs> it hurts a little. <laughs> You're a dad, not a brother, though. Well, no, I, I just I love all my children. <laughs> I don't think you do. I think what? you love. Me. <laughs> I don't think. Mm-hmm. I think you love me and only me, and you don't really like the others that First much. First the bald spot, and now his love but to his children. She's so mean to me. I'm not that mean, Sammy, baldy. you're going to fit in so well here. We like, we like making fun of him, too. So much. Mm-hmm. I, I have an announcement. What's what? your announcement? I have thought of a name for my <gasps> character. <gasps> me, too. Oh. I have, oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is Let's see this. Are you ready for this? Yes, yeah. so it's going to be something really dumb, wait. isn't it? His name is Solitude. But he goes by Tood. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I have, what's up, Tood? I have three options. Dude, Tood. Dude, my name is Tood. No way, dude. Do you have an attitude? No. Nah, so many Tood. Just a so tude. many Tood. <laughs> just a Tood, bro. So, yeah. <laughs> okay, Sammy, what's your name? I have three options. Oh my. So, number uh, one, I was thinking like. Pinky Pog because even though I'm <laughs> depressed inside, my name can still be like just well depressed on the outside. My name mm-hmm. can still be like happy and joyful. <laughs> <laughs> hey my hey hey my name is Pinky Pog. <laughs> yeah, I could be like, like happy. A, my Little Pony name. Yeah. Like wait, what's the mm-hmm. pink one's name? Pinky Pinky Pie. Pie. Pinky Pie. Pinky Pie. Hey guys, I guys, I did not know Pinkie that. Pie. <laughs> Fluttershy, yeah. rainbow. Da- that's all I know. There's like oh, Twilight Sparkle. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget about Twilight Sparkle. And then, yeah. can't forget that. Yeah, oh yeah. my gosh. Mm-mm. The other uh, two names, I don't even know where they came from. I just kind of stuck letters together. Yeah, do yeah. it. Mm-hmm. And then so we got a Ruwag. A Ruwag. A Ruwag. Okay. Your, your nickname could be Ru. Ru or Wag. Or Wag. <laughs> yeah. What's do you wag? wag your tail? And then I got Bully. Booly? I could go like Boo or something like that, or like Lily. <laughs> hey Boo. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm leaning towards Pinky. Hey Boo. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I could have like a joyful, happy name, but then still look depressed. Mm-hmm. And just side. dress in the most like in the most pink, happy pink happy frilly clothes, yellow yeah. colors. Uh-huh. Yeah. Have a flowers everywhere. Wear like a flower headband. Oh yeah. With smiley Feeling faces. It. Feeling it. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. 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 Just to let people know I'm not depressed i just have okay but like i can't smile if you were be funny if you then like yeah just dark hair and then the strip of pink hey my name's pinky 
And just like pointing at the pink strip, st- yeah, strip of hair. You know? <laughs> yeah. Here I thought my name was really original. Here we have Pinky Pog. Pinky Pog. Okay. Pog. Your nickname could be Pee Pee. <laughs> <laughs> the letters. Pee Pee. Or like. Do you regret this trend? Not for a second. <laughs> no. <laughs> Good. I feel like that's sarcastic. It feels. Unreal. I don't know why you would think that. I don't think he really wanted to have me. I think he, one child was good enough for him. He didn't want just the others. It's just the hair thing, too. Oh, my God. Yeah. What if her character was like Madison? She goes from one extreme to the other. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So They talk like this all the time. All the time. Okay. I'm oh, my so God. Happy. <laughs> so happy right now. I think now. she should sound like Madison. <laughs> My name like, is Madison. My name is Madison. Madison. I can't smile, but my name is like Pinky. Is but Pinky. I lost a shoe and now I can't smile. <laughs> so. Between some gum or lip gloss. Yeah. yeah. So. <laughs> the hair. <laughs> so. The first stars of night twinkle above the apricot sunset. Giant dragonflies whir overhead. Trailing streamers and a low mist curls over the ground. Through a floral archway, you glimpse wondrous and vibrant creatures. Elf stilt walkers, dancing fairies, and painted performers. Everywhere there is laughter, pixie dust, bubbles, and the wistful tune of a whistling calliope. Ooh. What's a calliope? I think it's a calliope. Is it calliope? Oh. What's a calliope? Thank you. I, as I was reading that, I'm like, I'm not quite sure how to pronounce this. It's the big musical like thing that you see in carnivals. Oh, so obviously I know what that is because I'm a bard. Because you've been to so many circuses. Can you sing for us? Please. That's so good. I know, right? I've been taking voice lessons. So a silver statue of a dancing fairy is mounted on the roof of a ticket booth Ooh, and the ticket booth is surrounded by fluttering butterflies the oh. booth is decorated with an animated depiction of the night sky and when i say animated i mean animated like it's got a magical charm that's on it where oh. it's m- actually moving i was pix- picturing pixar yeah, i was i was <laughs> too yeah. so there's you could actually there's actual move, moving shooting stars that are in this painting on on the ticket booth Ooh, i like this booth It'd be so and, cool. an elderly goblin perches behind the ticket counter. So a goblin, short creature, about three feet tall, green skin, long pointed, almost floppy ears <laughs> on, on this guy. The elderly goblin perches behind the ticket counter, peering at you quizzically through a spyglass. Oh. He lowers the spy the spyglass and calls out to you, Greetings, fair, fair goers. Mm-hmm. Hi. Hi. Hi, what? how are you doing? And he, and he pulls up a, an ear horn. Wait, are we kids and, right and now? He points to yeah, yeah, are, we, are we young right no. now? We're, no, we're, we're old. No. Oh, wait, should we oh, decide so, our age? So Yes, you should decide your age, but that's actually where we're going to, to end today. Oh. So that's oh. what we're going to pick up next oh, time, okay, okay. is the interaction with the goblin at the ticket booth. Okay. <laughs> Continue, goblin. Continue, goblin? Continue. Do Continue. you like pancakes? Answer now. I will answer next time. Oh, my God. <gasps> Dungeons and Dragons and Daughters is a proud member of the Block Party Podcast Network. Check out our other shows such as Detentions and Dragons, Dungeon Master Block, Geek Wars, and more.